if you are looking for the fully funded international exposure and if you are already a student then this video is for you so hello everyone welcome back to the new video i am the software engineer currently working at paypal so in this video we are going to see what are some of the international fully funded internships which you could apply mytex intern in the year 2019 and i have been to canada for three months and it was a wonderful journey so i want you to apply for the some of the various research internships to get the international exposure and then these all internships are the fully funded so you don't have to spend us even a single penny from your pocket so without any further delay let's start this video well, let's talk about the research internships people is still used to refrain in applying these internships they might see because whenever we go into the college we don't have the much exposure on the research side and research is one of the domain which is more related to the academic side but we wanted to go in the industry and learn the skills and they might think that um, in, in doing the research internships they are lacking in learning the skills but it is not like that if you are a computer science student you will be doing the same work as you will be doing in the industry i was a mytex intern so i was a part of the project where i will be working with the other students and then we used to have the um, weekly meetings and I, I will be doing the same work I was doing the same work if at that time I was the intern in the industry the main intention here is that because the research internships are for the short period of the time like uh, th uh, three months or four months so in this period of the time you will be allowed to work on the project so more or like it will be same as compared to the industry and you will be doing the work as similar to the industry the most important thing to do the internship is to learn the skills is to learn the communication how well you are able to communicate in your team to provide your ideas to co convert your ideas into some reality that's the main intention of the internships the opportunity that you could take while after applying to these international internships is first of all these international internships that i am going to list you is are, are fully funded so you don't have to spend any money out of your pocket to uh, part of these internships and you were getting the international exposure also people used to spend a uh, a lakhs of rupees to get the international exposure but you are getting it for free so don't miss that opportunity second thing you will be interacting there a lot of students from all around the world and that is the most amazing experience that you could ever had in your life in this video i'm going to provide some of internships which you could apply to get this wonderful opportunity if you are a college student so these are all the umbrella programs where uh, not only you are applying but students from all around the world are also so fills the application forms so let's start so first one is the eth zurich internship so uh, eth zurich is a very good university it comes under the top 10 universities all around the world so you could see that it is a fully funded internships that there are some of the eligibility requirement that you need to check it first so I will provide you the uh, links of these internships even in the descriptions of this video to further reference you after this video ends. So you could see like um, how this application process and uh, when this application actually begins and what is the program, what, uh, what is the date of the commencement of the program and uh, these all the internships needs to be starting from the summer so you could make use of the summer time to do the internship second internship is the max planck institute for the software system so um, this institute is present in the um, um, germany and germany is a very good country in terms of the education you can check it out uh, this particular internships check the eligibility process and all these internships are the fully funded so you don't have to much take care of the uh, amount expenditure um, and you could uh, fill these application forms um, and there is no harm in filling the application form as well because um, they do not charge any fees internships column that you can check and its date uh, generally lies and you can check every year so generally it has been closed um, for the 2023 they are going to open the date um, you need to keep the eye on that as well and one important thing in applying to these internships um, if you are going to uh, do the internship in the year 2023 so you need to apply these internship in 2022 one year before your internships get a start all these internships you need to have the supporting documents your lor letter of recommendation your sop statement of purpose 
and your uh, CV these all three are the very important documents and uh, make sure to subscribe this channel because um, in the in the later videos I am going to come up with these three supporting documents how you need to prepare and how you can maximize your chances to get select in these internships so let's go to the another internship which is the Shaw program um, as it has been written over there so USC is the University of the Southern California which is university is present in the US so it is a very good uh, university also uh, you could also see the what is the eligibility process and um, what are the program dates that you need to refer and what are the application requirement that you need to satisfy and what are the uh, areas which you could um, work on in this internship next one is the Duke University it is also the uh, one of the a great university of the US in which you could also apply the internship so this is the funding uh, that that they are going to provide it and the deadline is the 18 February 2022 so it is for the year 2022 if they are going to start this internship from the May 23 through um, July 20 uh, July 29 um, so uh, next year they will be going to open at the same time so you need to take care of all these dates try to write it somewhere so that um, it will be reminded to you so make sure to apply to this internship on time because they are not going to extend their dates so next internship program is the Cherpak lab scholarship so this is the program you will be the part of the internship for a public university in the France and France is also a very good country in terms of the education so you can check it out the eligibility process your selection criteria the application how you need to fill it the procedure all of that is being provided onto the site next program Quranah program for the scholars I have seen um, um, two three students uh, from my own university also get selected in this uh, Corona program this has been the tie-up for the US universities you will get the chance to do the internship in the uh, universities good universities in the US um, so you can check it out the eligibility the funding the awards the resources you can check it out the uh, previous scholars as well in these universities they got the chance to do the internship last one we are going to talk about this DARD internship which is the Germany umbrella program for the uh, students to do the internships as it has been written over there it is also one of the prestigious internship program which you can check it out onto this site and this um, this has also been fully funded and it has been written over there how much uh, uh, funding that they are going to provide you weekly and the uh, travel subsidy they are going to provide you the travel insurance everything has been covered so you don't have to worry at all last one that we have already covered is the mitex global link research internships so i have already made the three videos uh, regarding this internships if you wanted to know the detail of, of this mitex internship i have provided in my channel so you can check it out because i was uh, part of this particular program that's why i bought this internship internship in very detail um, so I have I have made three videos so you can check it out you are going to apply for this particular internship as well so in the last what I wanted to say that uh, there are still many other internships which you could apply and to take this opportunity to go international but quality always matters than the quantity so you need to apply in some of the internships which you think which you think that there is uh, some chances that you could select it by checking the eligibility process by checking all the requirements if you are satisfying like in ETH Zurich ETH Zurich is a very competitive internships it is one of the top 10 university so there are le very less chances for a normal student to get selected in this internship I am not discouraging you to apply for the for that internship as well you still can apply and there is no harm in applying to that internship but what I wanted to say uh, try to apply in in some of the internships not all the internships I might give you the exhaustive list of the internships which you could apply as well there might be the 50 plus internships which you could apply in a single year apply in some of the internship but with quality always try to review the your supporting documents two three times everything needs to be correct 
there is no typo present in your application that might be the obstacle in in your application process so um, always try to fill the application form with good quality you need to prepare uh, your cv very good and uh, according to uh, because some of the internships you might see that there is a template that you need to follow so you need to prepare your cv according to the template which has been asked so it will take time in applying for that particular internship uh, you need to review the process you need to check everything on their site that's all what i wanted to say if you have any other doubt uh, regarding this please let me know in the comment section i will try to clear that um, so we will meet soon and till then bye bye